Welcome, my name is Chris Orwig. I'm a photographer, a best-selling author, and I'm on the professional photography faculty at the Brooks Institute. And welcome to another episode of our podcast series, Creative Kickstart, where we ask the question, how can we be more creative so that we can capture more compelling photographs? Well, here in this episode, I want to focus in on the digital revolution. You know, one of the things that's fascinating about the digital revolution is that now our creativity is boundless. It's limitless. We can capture so many different photographs. And the instant feedback, it's obviously wonderful. We take a picture and we see right away whether, whether it's good or not. Yet one of the problems with this, of course, is that you and I take too many pictures. We have so many photographs, it's almost like the limitlessness of it gives us too many options. One of the things that I've discovered is that if you want to be creative, you need to have limits. I like how the composer Igor Stravinsky puts it. He says that I cannot be creative until I've selected a key for which I am then going to compose a song. Until I've determined the key, I can't really start the creative process. Another thing that Stravinsky says is this. He says that to know how to discard like the gambler does, that's the great technique of selection. In other words, we need to know how we can define the key. Well, what is it that we want to capture? And then we also need to know when to let go of certain things. As photographers, we do this all the time. You know, what's in the frame is equally as important as what's out of the frame. What do we discard? And if you want to get good at photography, you really need to be good at editing or discarding certain things. Sometimes that happens on camera. Again, the way that we compose or recompose or reframe a picture. Other times it happens after the fact. As we're looking through our photographs, we have to have some criteria. Well, are these photographs, are the ones that we're looking for, are they in a minor key, so to speak? Or maybe we want something that's major and dramatic and, and really strong and a strong harmony. You know, what you look for really helps you find certain things. So as a photographer, you need to ask yourself, well, what kind of pictures do I want to make? In the classroom like this, one of the things I like to do is to bring up some questions, to ask, ask have you asked your neighbor or someone sitting next to you, well, what is it that you really go for in your pictures? What are some of those criteria? Let's say you're a people photographer. You want to have a connection with the subject. That is most important. Or maybe you're a fashion photographer. It's all about the fashion and, and juxtaposing something that's, that's really beautiful and in a more concrete or urban environment. You really like the juxtaposition of things and that's what you really want. Or maybe you're a landscape photographer. You want landscapes which are cinematic and breathtaking and full of wide open space. Whatever it is, you need to start to define that. Then, as you're editing your photographs, you want to ask yourself, well, does this photograph meet my criteria? So often as photographers, as I mentioned, we take too many pictures. And what that does is it deadens our senses. In other words, if you take photograph, 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 and you capture a thousand pictures, well, it's going to be really difficult to find the one or the five or the ten or the hundred amongst the, the thousand because you've captured so many. So what I want you to do this week as you're out capturing photographs is try to be more discerning beforehand. Think about what is it that you want to capture. Well, here I am in this beautiful landscape. I can photograph the details. I can photograph something that's cinematic and beautiful and wide open. Make that decision. I'm going for the details. This is all about really close, interesting details, color, shape, line, and form, and then capture those images. Then, after the fact, when you're, you're on your computer and you're editing the photographs, ask yourself, well, does this meet those criteria, what I was actually going for? And what I've discovered is that the more discerning you can be, the better photographs that you'll capture. And again, with this whole idea of the digital revolution where things are limitless and boundless, you know, that's, that's a big help. But sometimes we need to sort of rein that in and be more focused and be more selective. And by doing that, it can help us develop as an artist. It also can help us capture more interesting and compelling photographs. Well, in closing, thanks for joining me in this podcast series, this Creative Kickstart episode, where we focused in on how we can get more selective and be more, be more determined as we're capturing our pictures. And I find that as we put more thought into that, oftentimes it will lead to better results. So thanks for joining me in this one. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.